Hi, I'm Chris Hurd with Compass Real Estate. Are you thinking about selling, but you're afraid that if you sell your house and you don't find that perfect house, you're going to have to find a rental and you don't want to get stuck in a lease? Here are three options to consider. Option one, the contingent offer. This is where you as the buyer would write an offer on that perfect dream house contingent upon the sale of your house. Now you can imagine in today's market with multiple offers, well above asking, it's probably not gonna work. However, if that house has been on the market for over three or four weeks, it's a possibility. So you can probably imagine as a seller, accepting a contingent offer is kind of risky. That means you're taking your house off the market and you don't know for sure whether it's gonna close. Option two is the bridge loan, and here's a sample of how this might work. Essentially, a bridge loan is temporary financing to provide a way, figuratively, a bridge to purchase an additional home without first selling a home. The maximum amount you can borrow on a bridge loan is usually about 80% of the combined value from your current home and the home you want to buy. Each lender may have a different standard here. For example, if your current home is worth, and we'll keep the math simple, 400,000, and the home you wanna buy is worth 600,000, your maximum bridge loan amount would be calculated like this. 400,000 plus 600,000 times 0.80. That would give you a loan of 800,000. Now, bridge loans typically must be repaid within 12 months or less but they can be structured as interest-only payments or as a balloon payment at the end once you sell your home. What makes bridge loans less than desirable are the high interest rates, the origination fees, the equity required, and the strict financing guidelines. Aside from the bridge loan, there's also the possibility of private financing or even an equity line of credit. Uh, but just keep in mind that both of these do carry some cost and have some risk attached to them. Option three is the rent back. In this option, you sell your home first, but we've negotiated in that contract a 60-day rent back, which says you have up to 60 days after close of escrow to remain in the house, whereby you pay rent to the new owners of your home. Now, because supply of homes is so low and demand so high, buyers are gonna be very competitive for your home. And you could probably, not guaranteed, but probably negotiate your rent to be zero for 60 days. Also, keep in mind, when you factor in the escrow timeline of 30 to possibly 40 days and the additional 60 days, that gives you nearly three months to find that new dream home. What's really important here is when you sell your home first, you're not desperate to sell. So you're not willing just to take any offer that comes along. It puts you in the driver's seat. Conversely, when you go to buy that dream house, you now have more leverage. You can write non-contingent and be extremely competitive. And that's where we want you. We want you in the driver's seat. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And I would be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And also, if you'd like a free home evaluation, along with a net sheet that shows you pretty closely what you'd probably net after the sale of your home so you can plan, uh, I'd be happy to do that as well. And of course, there's no obligation. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.